Welcome to this sneak peek of an Inkscape fe feature to come out in Inkscape 1.2. It's the padding and margin control for flowed text. In this example, we're going to create some comic word balloons. And to do that, we create a rectangle. We turn it into a path using object to path. And we use the node tool to create some sharp nodes, just like you would for a word classic word balloon shape. And once we have our regular shape, we're going to put some text in, into it. For this, we can use the text tool. And then we can add in some text that I prepared earlier. And then once you have some text, you can click the text and the irregular shape and use text flow into frame. Now you'll notice that this text meets the edge of the irregular shape in a very ugly way. And what we've done is in Inkscape 1.2, we've added the SVG padding controls. So you can actually change the padding of the shape. This is great because it actually keeps track. And no matter what you do to the original shape, it will flow in with that amount of pad padding. As well as having a uh, flow in shape, you can actually have a, an exclusion shape as well. So if you have overlapping word balloons, you simply select the text, select the exclusion shapes, and use text set subtraction frames. And now we have a shape which is extracted. Now, just like the padding, we can actually control the margin on this shape as well. This allows you to set a degree of space between the shapes that you want to exclude. Well, that's about all for this fe feature review. This comes out in a April 2022, but you can use it today if you're using the Inkscape developer builds. Thank you for watching.